American dream to his last breath he'll always be a soldier heard on great radio stations all across America it's the National Defense with Randy Miller and Jerry Newberry. The National Defense is made possible by Ford. Go further. By the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. By VSP. For more information on how VSP can help you and your corrective vision needs, visit VSP.com. By Morgan Stanley. Discover how they can help you achieve your long-term financial goals at MorganStanley.com. By the Wounded Warrior Project, serving those who've sacrificed for over 15 years. Online at WoundedWarriorProject.org. By WD-40 Company, wherever there's a job to be done, WD-40 Brand offers solutions to help you live life hands-on. By Farmers Insurance, we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. Find an agent at Farmers.com. By Gorilla Glue, makers of Gorilla Tape, for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. And by Gillette On Demand. Get Gillette quality blades delivered directly to your door with Gillette On Demand. Learn more at GilletteOnDemand.com. Hey, welcome into the National Defense. It's Randy Miller, Jerry Newberry, and Jerry, as always, our dedication. Hey, this show's for you. The men and women serving in our military is for the millions of veterans out there, and it's for all their families. We're here for you. We love you. God bless you. And we love Ford. Oh, man. Are they doing some groundbreaking stuff? I'm telling you. I, wow. uh, I I read the information we have. Yeah. And what crept into my mind was NASA. I thought, <laughs> it's like NASA yeah. came up with this. Re- yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, Lee Newcomb is with us, the Ford Explorer. And when, when have you, last time you talked about a Ford Explorer, Ford Explorer brand marketing manager. And I don't even know if you can still call it an Explorer because everything's brand new on this thing, Lee. Unbelievable. Yeah, Randy and Jerry, it's great to be with you. Uh, We are coming off an exciting debut of the Explorer last night. This is our sixth-generation Explorer. We've been uh, designing, engineering, and building them since 1990. Uh, And this is, you're absolutely right, a ground-up, all-new platform, um, meticulously recrafted and loaded with uh, ready-for-adventure technologies. Hey, and let me tell you, our uh, executive producer, Nate Heron, is, uh, I just talked to him the other day, he's on his third Explorer, and this one only has 165,000 miles on it, which he says, you know, so it's just kind of broken in. Yeah. It's kind of broken in. <laughs> I mean, it, it's amazing. You know, the, the people that, the, you know, have an Explorer, th- they always have Explorers. Is there, I mean, the brand loyalty on loyalty. This, this thing is something else, right? Yeah, well, you know, we are the uh, uh, number one selling, all-time selling SUV in America uh, with just over 7.7 million vehicles sold. Uh, still have a tremendous amount on the road, and people like Nate, we value the most, the, the customers that keep coming back, and, and we plan to keep delivering with great new products. And, and not only, you know, we need to clear this up. I can't believe somebody values Nate, it's, number one. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> it, it's new Ford Explorer. <laughs> However, it's not just the single model. In a Ford Explorer, you've got seven different drive modes, so you, you can take this thing anywhere? Yeah. That's right. Uh, we're uh, reintroducing the uh, all-new terrain management system with seven different selectable drive modes. Uh, and, um, yeah, you can route from snow to rain to dirt, uh, eco mode if you want to try and, and save some uh, fuel, normal and slippery. It's, it's, a, it's a, great, uh, a great feature for our customers. And, and you mentioned uh, the, the technology platform is yeah. like NASA. But this, this thing has some guts. It's not just just not a lot of bells and whistles. Not just a pretty face. It, yeah, you can you can do some serious hauling with this thing too. Well, that's right. With a minimum towing capacity of five thousand pounds and and up to fifty six hundred pounds uh, for those that choose our ST or Platinum vehicles, uh, more than enough towing capacity for what our customers need. Now, Randy, let me give you an idea what that means. Yeah, my thirty foot motorhome, right, which of course has a Ford engine in it. The towing capacity on that is 5,000. 5,000, right. Yeah. Which so, is pretty standard. So, And that's a 30-foot vehicle. Yeah. And here, here, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. So that's saying something. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, and, and the other part of this, Lee, is um, uh, this is not uh, the only um, uh, model of this, right? I mean, there's a hybrid involved. And tell us uh, some other things about that. 
Right. So this is uh, our broadest lineup ever. We're, we're offering six series, uh, introducing two all new series for us this year. It's the uh, limited hybrid, um, which is a great story for us. It's a 3.3 liter V6 hybrid powertrain made it to a 10 speed mild hybrid transmission wow. uh, with all the capability you could ever want. Tows 5,000 pounds fully hmm. off-road capable, and unlike most hybrids on the road today, we don't ask our past, our customers to make any sacrifice. You would never even know it's a hybrid. There's no uh, bumps in the in the cargo area, no, no area taken up for batteries, uh, and it's the real advantage of our engineers and the opportunity to engineer something from the ground up. Uh, we also have the ST, the, the new sport technologies uh, series, which uh, brings 400 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque. So it's going to be our most powerful Explorer ever. Now, can we can we talk about the technology just a little bit? Now, it's not you, you didn't fill this thing with uh, uh, technology just to do it, right? I, I mean, yeah. it's right. You, you put some real thought into this design. Right. It's not technology for technology's sake. We focus a lot on human-centered human centered design here at Ford Motor Company. And with 29 years of, of building Explorers, we, we've gotten to know the product very well and our customers very well and the kind of things they need. So we standardized our Ford Copilot 360 uh, package, which is full of driver's assist technologies like Bliss, lane keeping, autonomous emergency braking. Uh, and then we also offer our 360 assist package, which uh, includes our all-new intelligent adaptive cruise control. One of the neat features in that is speed sign recognition. Yeah, it what? uses a ca- yeah, it uses a camera on the front of the car, and it will adjust your cruise control based on the speed sign. Wow! That recognizes. <laughs> oh, so it just uh, does that automatically, right? That does that automatically. Wow. That's right. So you can you can sit back. <laughs> Make yourself a sandwich, right? 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 It, it, it. <laughs> the thing almost drives itself. Yeah. No, now this. Uh, well, how about the Wi-Fi service for up to ten, uh, yeah, de- ten devices, right? or more? I mean, you know, Lee. The cool thing about uh, Ford, and it's always been the same thing. You guys get way ahead of it. Right. I mean, uh, you know, you could have done some things just to kind of keep pace with technology, you know, stay in the, the same kind of thing. But, tip, but tip of the spear stuff. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah, well, thank you. We have some of the best engineers in the world and they really push the limits. And I want to point out on, on the uh, Wi-Fi, you can get a Wi-Fi signal off of the Explorer from up to 50 feet away. So you could imagine sitting here, sitting at a oh. tailgate and uh, oh, hooking man. on the Wi-Fi, hooking up a t- uh, TV to it, you know. While you're uh, eating your sandwich. Than, yeah. That's exactly right. <laughs> yep. Hey, uh, this, this emergency steering, tell us about that, because I, I had never heard of that before. Yeah, so we have a couple different, we have evasive steer assist that comes as part of our 360 assist package. And when the car senses that a collision is imminent, it will actually attempt to steer you out of the way of that collision. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, right? Now, so, so Lee, I'm a, uh, I'm a music guy, and I could not believe it when I was reading about yeah. this speaker system. Tell us about this speaker system, because I can imagine with this speaker system, just, you don't even need to drive anywhere. You just, just want to hang out right. you hang out in your vehicle, yeah. listen to music. Right. I can't wait to get in this and crank up the tunes myself. Man. 980 watts. 980 speaker. watt. I don't even, I can't even imagine that. Man. Yeah, it's, we're going to be able to turn that up to 11. 980 watts, 14 speakers, Bang & Olsen. That sound wow. is just going to wash over you. And, and I'm a music guy, too, and I can't wait to crank up the tunes in that, in that, in that SUV. I, 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 Put I, I, in I, some Led Zeppelin, man. Yes. Let it rip. I, I will tell you, most of the stations we air on are not 980 watts. No. I, mean, I mean, this right? is right? <laughs> this is more power than most of the stations that we air on. It's incredible. But to get 14 speakers on this, I mean, that is... Uh, that's cool. That's you know, my, really cool. My, hey. my only beef was I wasn't able to see a photograph of it. Yeah. And I, I really wanted to look at this. Well, thing. is there a place we can go and uh, and check out some photos? Well, absolutely, yeah. Our reveal site is up and running uh, at www.ford.com. You can see the uh, 20 model year Explorer prominently displayed at the front. There's a 360-degree colorizer, so you can... Pick out the colors you want and read about some of the all new features and and there's some really great picks there for you to to take a look at. And you know the, uh, the navigation devices in this thing, and we're talking about this brand new Ford Explorer. Uh, you guys have gone all out on the navigation too. 
Yeah, we have uh, navigation, uh, pinch and zoom to control. You can split. It's uh, it updates live with 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 real time traffic conditions. And if if you want, you can see it on the eight inch screen. But if you want a little bit bigger viewing, you can you can opt up to our ten point one inch uh, portrait screen. It looks like a, a, a iPad sitting on your dashboard and wow. really offers you all the functionality you would expect. And let's talk about comfort. Is some SUVs? Let's face it. Clunky. They're clunky. Yeah. Right. Uh, you, you bang your head if you're in a back seat. Yep. You know, you, you don't want to you don't want to sit in the thing for any uh, extended amount of time. Jerry, you, you're not allowed to sit in the front, are you? Not usually. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. It sounds more like a kidnapping at this point, but <laughs> but this thing is. I mean, it, it is uh, luxurious, isn't it, Lee? Yeah, we're seating up to seven passengers. Uh, we've made a should, should I ask about a price point? Uh, well, we've we've uh, we've got a great story on our base price. We're taking our base price up, base price up four hundred dollars to thirty three thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars. Oh, so that's oh, wow! Yeah, that's right. I, yep. Hey, I, I'm I'm astounded. Seriously, we were talking about it yeah. before the interview, and we're thinking, geez, this thing's going to get it's cross an arm start leg. at, start at yeah. sixty. Yeah. that's what we thought. Wow. I mean, that's incredible. Wow. Well, yeah, we try and make it aspirational on every level, and we've loaded this thing up with standard content, 8-inch touchscreens, mm. power lift gates. We really want our customers to uh, love this vehicle like they've loved all the Explorers in the past. Man. I love it already. I, I haven't even <laughs> seen one. Hey, let's buy one for Nate. You want to get one for Nate? No. no. Hey, Lee. <laughs> Lee Newcomb. I think Nate deserves one. Well, he does deserve, deserve one. one. No, he doesn't. No, he yeah. doesn't. Lee Newcomb, the <laughs> Ford Explorer brand marketing manager. Hey, man, thank you so much for the time today. And, uh, wow, congratulations. Yeah, wow, I can't man. wait to see this thing. Guys, it was great time talking with you. Have a great day. Hey, Jerry, this is exciting. Now, our buddies at Farmers Insurance have invited us to broadcast this program from the Farmers Insurance Open at Torrey Pines in San Diego next week. Visit FarmersInsuranceOpen.com for tournament info or join the conversation at hashtag FIO19 or join the conversation at hashtag FIO19. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Welcome to F-150 Radio, the new 2018 Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, it is the bar. Dean, go. I'm all about lowering the bar, like I only brush my teeth on Monday. The new Ford F-150 lineup raises the bar by being number one in towing, payload, and torque. It can make you more capable. Capable, shmapable. The new 2018 Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, it is the bar. When properly configured, Plus is full-size pickups under 8,500 pounds GBWR based on Ford segmentation. Gillette takes great pride in offering the right razor for every kind of face. Now you can get the right razor for your grooming needs when you need it with Gillette On Demand and have quality blades delivered right to your door. Subscribe to Gillette On Demand today and take $5 off your first order with special offer NDR5 at checkout. Enjoy free shipping, hassle-free billing, and you can change or cancel anytime. Visit online at GilletteOnDemand.com and remember, get $5 off your first order with special offer NDR5 at checkout. You think of the Home Depot for bedroom or bathroom updates. But bed linens or bath towels? Now you can find premium names like Laura Ashley, Eddie Bauer, and The Company Store at homedepot.com. It's a new year. Start with fresh new towels and bed linens from homedepot.com. Right now, up to 40% off with any order over $45 delivered free. The Home Depot. More saving. More doing. U.S. only. Valid through February 3rd. Enter promo code BEDBATH15 at purchase for an extra 15% off. This portion of the National Defense is brought to you by Gorilla Glue, the makers of Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape has a tough, reinforced backing and is made with double thick adhesive that grips to smooth, rough, and uneven surfaces. With a weather resistant shell, Gorilla Tape can be used both indoors and out, which is perfect for applications in the field, including duck blinds, tree stands, and tent repairs. Gorilla Tape and Gorilla Glue for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Back to the National Defense. It's Randy Miller, and it's time now for another Morgan Stanley Money Brief. And we are lucky enough to have with us Captain Michelle Morrow, is a member of the Morgan Stanley Veterans Network. Captain, how are you? 
I'm good, Randy. How are you? Great. These have been some great tips over the past few weeks, and so far we've focused on the life stages that most veterans will transition through and the steps they can take to position themselves along the way. So now that we've wrapped up that discussion, what's our focus this week? Well, Randy, in the next few segments, uh, we'll talk about some common financial goals and how to prioritize them. Yeah, that's, you know, that's a tough one. It's an important one, but can you, maybe you can start by telling us why it's important to have financial goals. Well, financial goals are important because they help us with fiscal discipline, meaning they help us make smarter decisions when it comes to spending, making, and saving money. So, for mm-hmm. example, if you're saving for your college education for your children, it might not be the best time to make a big ticket purchase, like a brand new car. Right. Or if you're still building up your emergency savings, it might not be the best time for you to try to max out your retirement plan contributions. Gotcha. And since it's nearly and just now after tax time, you know, if you're still working on paying off your debt, this might be a good opportunity for you to use your tax return to make some progress there as opposed to, say, splurging on an extravagant vacation. I want to go on vacation, though. I know it's so Michelle. hard. It's so hard. I mean, it, it does, <laughs> all of that makes sense. But so, how should, uh, especially our audience, think about prioritizing their financial goals? Well, first, let me explain some common financial goals that your listeners are likely thinking about. And you know, not all of these will apply to everyone, sure. but it is a good idea to know like what they are and how they can impact your financial future. So, planning and budgeting, as an example, this is your roadmap for financial security. Sure. Insurance, right, crucial to helping protect you, your family, your assets. College planning, um, which we already mentioned. So this doesn't necessarily mean paying for college, but it means setting expectations on how your child's education will be funded, whether it's through savings, student loans, scholarships, or important to this audience, maybe even military service. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And there's so many other things out there that you can look at, especially with the veteran service organizations. A lot of those organizations have ways to pay for your college education, and they do contesting and different things. So uh, what about savings-related goals? So thanks for the segue. Um, So savings-related goals include an emergency savings fund. So this is helping to prevent from the unknown derailing other financial goals. And retirement, which is essential if you plan on maintaining your current lifestyle once you're no longer working. Yeah. I mean, it's so important. And, and, you know, the sooner you can get on it, the better, right? Exactly. The sooner, the better. And over the next couple of segments, we'll talk through, you know, what are the what are the ways that your listeners can help prioritize which goals they might want to tackle first to set them up um, for the best possible outcome. So aside from financial planning and insurance and and savings, Michelle, are there any other common financial goals? Actually, there's just one more that uh, that I'd like to mention, and that's debt repayment. Ah. This is obviously not the most exciting goal, but it's important because paying off your debt allows you to really put your money and your assets to work towards your other financial goals instead of holding you back from making progress elsewhere. Okay, so so what if all of these are a financial goal? How do you tackle all of these at once? Well, the short answer, Randy, is that you don't. You can't. And so it's important to know what your financial goals are, but it's equally important to figure out when to tackle each one. Most of the time it's impossible to allocate the time and the money to do all of them at once. So in the next segment, we'll start with the first three financial goals that are generally the most important ones to conquer first. That sounds great. Michelle, thank you so much. We'll be back here next week with a brand new segment of Morgan Stanley Money Brief right here on the National Defense. This radio program does not provide individually tailored advice. It has been prepared without regard to the individual financial circumstances and objectives of persons who receive it. The strategies discussed may not be suitable for all individuals. Morgan Stanley recommends individuals independently evaluate particular strategies and encourages them to seek the advice of a financial advisor. The appropriateness of a particular strategy will depend on an individual's circumstances and objectives. Tax laws are complex and subject to change. 
Morgan Stanley, its affiliates, and Morgan Stanley and Financial Advisors do not provide tax or legal advice and are not fiduciaries under ERISA, the Internal Revenue Code, or otherwise. With respect to the services or activities described herein, except as otherwise provided in writing by Morgan Stanley and or as described at www.morganstanley.com slash disclosures slash DOL. Individuals are encouraged to consult their tax and legal advisors, A, before establishing a retirement plan or account, and B, regarding any potential tax, ERISA, and related consequences of any investments made under such plan or account. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. Welcome into the National Defense. It's Randy Miller and Jerry Newberry. You know, we've had uh, some great people on the show, Jerry, and, and it just keeps getting better. Absolutely. Right? Yes. Uh, Brian Cranston is on with us. Brian, how are you? Guys, I'm, I'm doing really well. Thank you for having me. Hey, now, I know you've done a lot of press uh, for The Upside, which, by the way, I just watched this last night. You're a funny dude. Oh, boy. <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> I mean... It- uh, you know, I mean, just it's not it's, it's not a character that that m- most people would say, wow, that's funny. Uh, no, he's, he's in kind of dire straits. But uh, but thank you for that. Yeah. Well, and, you, you know, Randy, the, it, it, he's taken some heat over this brawl uh, because people, I, I guess, can't appreciate the humor and his, his situation of it. But there's some controversy about this role, actually. Right, Brian? Well, it's interesting. Um, you know, we're, we live in a very. Uh, ultra sensitive time now and in <laughs> yeah. most cases that's good it 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 allows the conversation to be present um but i i've kind of through the grapevine i i, I mo- mostly stay away from from gossipy things i i don't go online i don't uh go to chat rooms and things like that i, I don't read rag magazines or anything like that so i kind of stay blissfully ignorant to controversies unless they they really have some validity to them and find their way to me and this one is interesting it's like um so uh, apparently and i'm not even quite sure what the controversy is to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, apparently there's some people who feel that my character is a quadriplegic based on a on a true story about a, a man who had a hang gliding accident and was left without the use of his hands, arms, or legs, and is confined to a wheelchair, uh, and how he meets a, a very unlikely person who becomes his caretaker, and beyond that, they become very dear and close friends, and have been, and still are, to this day. Uh, it's a beautiful story. It's an uplifting yeah. story. And um, so apparently, the controversy that, if I understand it correctly, is that I'm an able-bodied actor who's in a, playing a character who's confined to a wheelchair. And is that it? Is that what you heard? <laughs> yeah, well, I, yeah, I, yeah. Well, I, I think the key word there is actor. Uh, right? Right. right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, people need to lighten up a little bit. I, yeah. I, I mean, and I, I appreciate uh, uh, something for what it is. I mean, I mean, if, if you're going to have – if you're making a movie and there are uh, people who have died in it, are, are you going to put – Real corpses, real cadavers. Yeah, 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 yeah right, right. Well, and the, and the funny thing was, you know, uh, uh, Brian, when when I first heard this, uh, I saw the trailer, and I first heard it was described as a buddy comedy. I'm thinking, what? You know, I mean, because first of all, who who had the great idea to put you and Kevin Hart together? That's not in the natural that order is a of things, that right? Is a combination, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we we goof all the time. Kevin and I had really bonded on this movie, and uh, I think he's fantastic in it. Yeah, and uh, he's a funny man, but more importantly, he's a very gracious man. He 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 offers himself up to 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 funny situations and ridicule, and and <laughs> but he 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 comes on. He's very happy and open on the set and. Consequently, so we have a very happy, open, uh, working situation. Right. And he and, and Nicole Kidman and myself uh, really bonded quite well on this on this movie, and we had a good time doing it. And there were no bad apples, and and, and that's a testament 
to to him and to all of us to be able to to show uh, how appreciative we are of our opportunities and and to have fun and i i hope that comes through and and people leave uh the theater after watching the upside with something that i think is missing in our society a lot lately and that's hopefulness right yeah and <laughs> and and, and, uh, and to feel good and the value the intrinsic value of feeling good after seeing something. And, and the value of friendship. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And it really is uplifting. You mentioned Nicole Kidman. She's going to be on this show. We were, we were talking to uh, her folks at 42 West, and uh, she's going to be on, I think, with uh, with Keith Urban. Right. Talking about. Uh, um, how was that experience? Had, yeah, you, had she, you worked with her before? She's so well-renowned. Yeah, what's it like uh, working with her? She is, I, I just adore her. She is a woman who who can and does have it all, but in in she's beautiful and her spirit is alive and lovely and we talked about children and being married and and how challenging it can be because of the amount of travel that you need to do and how you have to make arrangements no matter how long it is to make sure you see each other and and just talking about how Keith uh, now they they, li- they live in the Midwest and and uh, how he does his concerts and he flies home for every weekend so he can spend time with his kids and his wife and it's like yeah. those are the things you have to do and uh, without you know question we're all very lucky and and very fortunate in our careers and beyond that you still have to say well how how do I make this work. Uh, I've been married now. This year will be 30 years. And and we try, Robin and I try to make sure that we're not apart for longer than than two weeks, three weeks at the absolute maximum. And we just we just make it work. Because, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And, And it has to be a priority, right? It does. It, it, you know, it, it's difficult. It, it really is. Yeah. You know, and I think about your yeah. audience, too, now, and I think I, I, it pales in comparison with the with the, the sacrifices and the, the time away from your loved ones that the armed services uh, provide. It's just a, a tremendous pressure. And so, you know, it, it, if... If having them pop in to see a movie that makes them feel good, yeah. Oh, that's, well, that's, that's the, really the other great. the other part of that too, and we're talking to Brian Cranston here in the National Defense. The other part of that is what you're doing right now that we greatly appreciate, and which which a lot of people don't understand. Um, if you're not in the military and, and you and you you know you have that kind of a, a way time to hear somebody like yourself come it, it, on, it's great that y- it is you appreciate it, yeah. and and you're aware of the sacrifice. Yes, absolutely. I, I mean, because a lot of people think you know, well, he's a famous actor, you know, he's living in a different universe, but obviously you're not. No. Yeah, you still you still are a functioning human being, and, and listen, I, I wouldn't be able to have a thirty year marriage if I took a cavalier attitude toward it. You you it takes work, and it takes planning, and you have to schedule that time to be together and um, and keep uh, to keep it nurtured, or it will die. And and so we 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 have that mutual desire to yeah. keep it going. So. Well, and it's kind of funny, too. You know, uh, after Breaking Bad, you know, we didn't see you for a while. And then uh, and then now all of a sudden you're in like this storm of doing everything. You're on Broadway. They've extended the network through uh, April 28th. And I just finished your book. And that's why I say you're a funny dude. Man, you're a great writer. Yeah, you want to talk about oh, crazy okay. girlfriends? Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I've had a couple of those. I I me relate. too. Yeah. Yeah. When we got to, the, I had to tell Jerry about it. when we got to that part. I go, hey, he's living our life here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Wow. Well, I I wanted to write uh, a memoir that was relatable and that didn't feel like it was for the elitist crowd. I was raised poor. My family was fractured, and. Um, you know, I didn't see my father from the time I was 11 to the time I was 22 years old. Um, 
my mother became an alcoholic. We were kicked out of our home. Oh, I geez, had to yeah. live with my grandparents for a year. I mean, it was it was yeah. some challenging moments, but not as bad as other people have it. But so I wanted to write the truth and to say this was my life, and this is how the cards were dealt to me. And it only matters with how then you handle that hand that you've been dealt. How do you deal with that? And and then go on and, and still look for ways to improve your life and make, make something of yourself um, to live it to the fullest. You know, uh, you've done a lot of press for uh, The Upside. Uh, I bet you haven't been asked this question. Can you tell us about your uh, USO tour? Oh, yeah. Oh. I love this USO tour. Uh, I want to do it again. Um, you know, what was great is that I, there has been a lot of, well, should we say derisiveness or uh, doubt as to whether this younger generation, early 20s, into their late 20s, that, that they're all spoiled, that they were raised with this idea that uh, they're they're entitled to to life and that things should be handed to them. I found no sample of that with the Air Force and Army personnel and some Marines that we met on on on, on the base uh, at all. I, I, I yeah. was impressed, so impressed. My wife on, went with me, and every stop that we made in Europe where they sent us. Uh, and we met, and we uh, chat, we had lunch with them, we saw what they did for a living. Uh, they're patriotic, they're loyal, they're engaged, they're active, they're kind. And my wife and I went away, uh, just every night we got back to the hotel room and went, this is just amazing. This is not at all what maybe the general feeling is of, and it's so unfair, a generalization of a whole generation. <laughs> yeah, right on, it, yeah, right it, on. It, it's just ridiculous. And so we feel that, I'm glad you asked that question because, and every time anybody asked me about the U.S. Go Tour, I, I wanted, I made sure that that's part of it, that it's like, no, we're in good hands. There's bright, yeah. young people who are at the helm of these things and working hard and making careful really cogent decisions and uh and I, I felt just so much better about our future <laughs> and uh and i it was just so much fun and 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 sharing you know some stories and answering questions and, and goofing around with the with the men and women and it was just it was it was a joy well you know it's uh, your latest work is just proof positive of what you've been able to accomplish uh, as an artist they i mean Malcolm in the Middle, you made me laugh like hell continuously. <laughs> yes. Whenever I watch this show, and I already talked about uh, uh, Dalton Trumbo, your role in that. And, and, what, what intelligent choices? I mean, really, yeah. just looking back through your career. When, when, when you can get someone in the audience to, yeah. to sympathize, to empathize, to laugh, and you, you've even made me cry, man, you, you're, you're something else, man. Well, I... I Thank you for that, and you know, I'm I'm proud of those shows and Breaking Bad and 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 being able to play uh, Lyndon Johnson on Broadway. Yes, oh, yeah, yes, yes. that was great all the way. And I'm on stage now in New York and Network. Um, to me, this it's not a big secret. I tell anybody, but I look for material that moves me. If the material moves me, I trust that it'll move an audience. Uh, just if I can be my own barometer, I think, you know, being a kid who was raised in, in a lower income family, um, that struggled, that knows paycheck to paycheck and, and, and all those, those ways of life. Um, I, I feel that I have a handle and I don't really want to, it's a part of me. It's not, ne that's never going to shake me. I'm never going to waste resources. Uh, I, I just can't, I won't. And, um, it's, it's shaped who I am so that when I read a, a, a project and I have an emotional experience by it and I feel that I, that I've invested in the characters that I've read, 
then I think that, that that's the way it's going to be presented. And I'm excited about playing those types of characters. Well, let me just tell people, when you go see The Upside, when you get, <laughs> when you get, make sure you, you don't, you're not drinking anything when you get to the part where, where he orders 15 hot dogs. Does it be coming out your nose? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, Brian, listen, we can't thank you enough for the time. It was just, what a, just pleasure. what a pleasure to talk to you and, uh, just really appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to be on. It means, just means a lot to a lot of people. I oh, appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thanks for the time, guys. Thank you. Thank the, you. the Upside in Talk Theaters. We'll be right back here on the National Defense. How do you thank the millions of men and women who have fought so bravely for our country over the years? At the Home Depot, we think it takes more than words. We believe the best way to show gratitude is to do gratitude. The Home Depot Foundation is committed to veterans and their families, improving their homes and their lives. Since 2011, we've invested $160 million to veteran causes and impacted over 26,000 veteran homes. By 2020, we'll grow that investment to a quarter of a billion. From simple wheelchair ramps to complete home makeovers, transitional housing, community support, we consider it a duty and a privilege to serve senior, wounded, and homeless veterans the best ways we know how. After all they've given us, it's the least we could do. A quarter of a billion dollars by 2020. Doing more for veterans. Doing gratitude. The Home Depot. More saving. More doing. Did you know WD-40 Company offers more than just a blue and yellow can? There's a line of high-performance WD-40 brand products developed for professionals that include degreasers, penetrates, and greases. The WD-40 Specialist Greases line includes a multi-purpose grease, a high-temperature grease, an extreme-pressure grease, and a marine-grade water-resistant grease. The products are interchangeable with each other, so they won't cause cross-contamination issues that compromise performance and effectiveness. Pick up a can at Home Depot and learn more about these and other WD-40 brand products at WD40Specialist.com. It's been called shell shock, war neurosis, and battle fatigue. Today, we call it post-traumatic stress disorder, and it affects one out of every five warriors returning from battle in Iraq and Afghanistan. The Wounded Warrior Project offers comfort and support for warriors with PTSD and all other scars of war, whether those scars are visible or hidden. Find out how to help, because for warriors, the greatest casualty is being forgotten. Please visit WoundedWarriorProject.org. All right, welcome to F-150 Radio. Today, the new 2018 Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, it is the bar. We got Dean. Hey, so Ford F-150 engineers are raising the bar, but I'm all about lowering the bar. Like I only brush my teeth on Monday. Really? Saves time. Nice. The new Ford F-150 lineup raises the bar because, once again, it's number one in towing, payload, and torque. I watch VHS tapes and never rewind. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. And F-150 raises the bar with advanced thinking like a more powerful engine lineup and available EcoBoost engine technology. I got a camcorder. A big one. F-150 has available pre-collision assist with pedestrian detection. This truck can help make you more competent at every. Everything. Eh, competent schmoppening. Okay. This is the new 2018 Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, it is the bar. When properly configured, Class is full-size pickups under 8,500 pounds GBWR based on Ford segmentation. We're standing guard with the truth. The National Defense. Hey, welcome back to the National Defense. It's Randy Miller, and it is time for another episode of Eye Insights with VSP. And that's where VSP Network doctors share their eye health knowledge and raise awareness about vision care. And uh, this is so exciting, especially with uh, our guest today, Dr. Robert, Robert Meisel, San Diego County Optometric Society board member, retired VSP network doctor, and also served in the Navy for 31 years before retiring as a captain. He's back with us this year. Dr. Meisel, how are you? I'm doing great, Randy. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you so much for being on here. And this should be a New Year's resolution to care for your eyes. A lot of people uh, don't put that at the uh, top of their list. But, uh, you know, number one, schedule your annual eye exam, right? Exactly, exactly. It's not just for detecting any vision problems that you may be having or maybe don't even know about, but for your overall health and wellness, it's a good way to check in and see if there are any signs of problems. 
Yeah, and you know, that's an easy thing to do at the first of the year. You get that over with, you feel good about it, have some peace of mind. How often, Dr. Meisel, should somebody receive a, a comprehensive eye exam? Well, normally, unless your doctor advises otherwise, it should be an annual exam, so every year. And that's regardless of age? Well, especially for kids entering school or before school, it's, it's important to do that. And, of course, as we age, it's even more important as common problems happen as we get into our 60s, 70s, and beyond. But for any adult, uh, it's a good checkup for their overall health. Okay, so for an, uh, an adult, and uh, what happens during the annual uh, comprehensive eye exam? What kind of things take place? Well, besides a history of any uh, health care problems, such as uh, systemic problems, uh, the different tests will go through to make sure that the back of the eye is especially healthy. The retina is a looking glass into the vascular system. So when the eyes are dilated during the exam or a photograph is taken, the doctor can inspect that and look for potential problems. And, of course, there's other testing to do the vision part, whether you see well for distance, close up, how your eyes coordinate, how the eyes team are also a part of that exam. Yeah, and it seems like as I get older, uh, my eyes seem to be changing, <laughs> maybe not on a daily basis, but you can definitely notice some differences as you get older, right? Well, the typical problem is for those people in their probably early 40s to late 40s is that the reading problems become a little more intense. Uh, people typically say, I just need longer arms to read my, right. my phone <laughs> right, exactly. or to read, uh, read <laughs> magazine, etc. So that's a typical problem called presbyopia. Yeah, my, my thing is just yelling out to my wife, going, why are they making the print smaller? They keep making the print smaller. Exactly. Sure, sure that's yeah, not that's a, not a room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dr. Meisel, uh, VSP Vision Care has a lot of exciting things for our particular audience. Can you talk about what you guys are doing? We are a vision carrier participating in the federal dental and vision insurance program known as FedVIP. For those military families and retirees that enrolled in, in November, they now have access starting January 1st of this year to comprehensive vision coverage through FedVIP. If you missed the open season and are a newly eligible TRICARE member or are retiring at any point this year, you can review VSP plan options at choosevsp.com. And when you're ready to learn how to enroll, go to benefeds.com to learn about enrollment options. Well, Dr. Meisel, thank you so much. We'll be back here next week uh, with a new edition of Eye Insights with VSP Vision Care right here on the National Defense. Remember, join us next week as we broadcast live from the Farmers Insurance Open in San Diego with the National Defense. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. This has been the National Defense, made possible by Gillette Clear Gel Deodorant. It goes on clear and keeps you fresh all day, and it doesn't leave white marks on your shirt. By Ford, go further. By the Home Depot, more saving, more doing. By VSP, by Morgan Stanley, by the Wounded Warrior Project, by WD-40 Company, by Farmers Insurance, and by Gorilla Glue, makers of Gorilla Tape. Gillette takes great pride in offering the right razor for every kind of face. Now you can get the right razor for your grooming needs when you need it with Gillette On Demand and have quality blades delivered right to your door. Subscribe to Gillette On Demand today and take $5 off your first order with special offer NDR5 at checkout. Enjoy free shipping, hassle-free billing, and you can change or cancel anytime. Visit online at GilletteOnDemand.com and remember, get $5 off your first order with special offer NDR5 at checkout. Upgrading your bathroom? The Home Depot can help you upgrade that upgrade with great brands and great savings at the Winter Kitchen and Bath event. Right now, add the finishing touch with an exclusive Delta Zella faucet for just 59 bucks. It's a two-handle high arc center set faucet to give you plenty of clearance. So upgrade your bathroom and let the savings flow. The Winter Kitchen and Bath event at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Valid through March 24th while supplies last. We're standing guard with the truth. The National Defense.